Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google released Android 14 beta 4 and I'm really excited to show you what's new in this build so without further ado let's jump in. So let's start with the build number as usual and here on the 7 Pro it's UPB4 2306230005 and now let's take a look at the new features. On the left I have Android 14 beta 3 on the 6 Pro and on the right I have beta 4 on the 7 Pro. And there is no changes in the lock screen so I'm gonna jump right away to the home screen and the reason I'm using the same wallpaper is to show you some differences when it comes to material U. The first change you will notice is in the themed icons. Now they have more contrast when compared to beta 3. That was the case already on the stable version but after installing beta 3 the icons became lighter but now they are back again to be darker and that looks much better in my opinion. Not only this, but when I activate dark theme, you'll notice here that the icon background is now darker as well. Back to light theme to show you a couple more changes. The first one is in the app drawer. You will notice here that the background is darker and that makes the icons a bit more visible. But there is no change when it comes to the dark theme. You will also notice that the Google search bar at the top is now more visible because it's using a different color. And that's also the case with the light theme. So let me turn off light theme to show you how it looks now. So as you see, it's using a lighter color to work better with the darker background. And the last change I found in the Google search widget is the colors are now lighter than beta 3 and also the Google Lens icon is different. Now let's move on to the wallpaper and the style app to show you one more change related to adaptive theming. You will notice here that the color palettes of beta 4 are different from beta 3. They are darker and a bit more muted. So when you take a look here, let's go to the full page. And when I scroll through them, you will notice some differences here in the colors, even though I'm using the same exact wallpaper. And when you go to other, you will see the same exact thing, darker colors with Android 14 beta 4. The clock color and size menu got a minor tweak. When you go inside, you will notice here that the heading is different. Now it matches the exact name you see on the front page instead of saying clock settings. And the last change I found in the wallpaper and the style app is under the shortcuts menu. Now the items are organized differently. I wish it got more options to choose from, but unfortunately, that's the only change I found. Now let me show you some random tweaks I spotted while using the phone, and the first one is in the share sheet. When I used to have beta 3 on my 7 Pro, the share sheet was broken, and that's exactly the case with my 6 Pro. When I try to share something, you will notice here that it will crash the app completely like this and the share sheet doesn't come up but now it works fine without any issues so let me try to share this photo to show you even more changes now i have a screenshot of the share sheet from a different phone because it doesn't work on the 6 pro the first change you will notice is the share sheet now has a header and this header matches the content you are trying to share so it says here sharing image and when you try to share something else it will change accordingly the second change is the edit button is now a glyph icon with a background color that floats over the image the nearby option is no longer in the top section but it will appear next to your apps and it will always take the first spot plus the handle at the top is much wider than before and it has a darker color and I think this white space is just a bug because the recent contacts should appear over here but unfortunately they don't. One more change I spotted in the markup app when you try to share a photo from your recent apps screen and then tap on the edit button you will notice here that the save button has been replaced with share and you don't have the option to save this image anymore you can either share it right away or cancel the whole process. I also noticed a small enhancement in the call it chip animation. So for example, when I make a phone call and then go to the home screen, previously tapping on the chip will show me a black screen for a second and then goes to the dialer, but now it works much better. The Biometrics Authentication card now has a darker color for the fingerprint icon. And lastly, when you set your phone to silent mode, you will see a different icon in the status bar. Now let's talk about the differences under settings, and the first one is under security and the privacy, and then device unlock. And when you tap the gear icon next to screen lock, now you have a new option called auto confirm unlock. If your pin code is six digits, you will be able to use this option and that means once you enter the pin code on your lock screen you will no longer need to tap on the uh, enter key or the confirm key at the bottom right corner and you will notice here that this button entirely disappeared from the keypad plus you have here 
six dots to let you know that you have a six digits pin code but once you turn off the switch those six dots will disappear as well and the enter key will appear one more time and the last change is under system and then languages and now you will see the speech settings located under the languages menu and instead of being under keyboard like before so these are all the new changes i spotted in android 14 beta 4 but there is a very long list of bug fixes that you can find in google news group on telegram that i'm going to leave its link in the description below so hopefully this build will be good enough for your daily driver for me, I only had one major issue with beta 3, which is the broken share sheet, but thankfully it got fixed with beta 4. But other than this, my 7 Pro was working absolutely fine, and I hope beta 4 will keep the same stability, if not even better. So far, I didn't spot any major issues with beta 4 on the 7 Pro while filming this video, and the performance feels exactly the same as the stable version, no problems here. But I'm gonna give it more time to see if the battery and the thermals improved or not. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes i wanted to show you in android 14 beta 4 and please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thanks so much for watching and see you the next video